guys welcome back to your own youtube channel tech techno where we bring you quality tech content and make your life techilicious so guys we have come up with one more new video there will be talking about anz data virtual internship program so talking about the place where you can get this internship is the platform named forage so you are most aware about this platform which is an online resource which offers virtual ex experience programs designed by leading companies. You can develop your skills and gain a real understanding of different roles and industries by working through these self-paced modules with tasks that are similar to those you would undertake during a traditional internship. So you will have to work through a series of resources and hypothetical tasks that are designed to stimulate the sort of work you would undertake as an intern or a full-time employee at that particular organization. It is a unique opportunity for you to try out a career at your own pace and in your own time from the comfort of your home. It almost takes 5-6 to six hours to complete one program and you can complete as many programs as you like. All experiences are completely free of charge for any students. So, talking about more about this program, let's redirect to the website of this program. So, you can find this link in the description box and redirect to this website or Forage website, which includes programs where you can do virtual internships. You can explore Forage work experiences program and find the perfect program to showcase your knowledge and get noticed by recruiters from top companies. There are no lengthy application processes as programs are free and accessible to all students. You can simply pick your program, create an account on Forage website and get started right away. So you can see virtual internship programs here. Click on login button if you already have an account, else sign up for your account. As I already have an account, I'm logging through my Google and you can see that I have been logged in into this particular program for it. So it will take, uh, you will have video instructions and real life examples from employee within the chosen organization. And you can see that I am choosing data at red ANZ program. <clears throat> so in this you will be doing, uh, basically working on data analytics and various uh, other fields like that are related to data analyzation, visualizations of data and something of that sort. So data at the rate ANZ is about mining and linking data sets to develop stones that matter and challenge the status quo to deliver on ANZ purpose to shape a world where people and communities thrive. So you can look into this program if you are interested into data. Our data people love to explore opportunities and if you are giving about a data career and want to see what it looks like, then the data at the red ANZ virtual internship is the program for you. So by providing your contact details and indicating that you are interested to contract through the participation in this virtual internship program, ANZ will also include you in the data at the red ANZ extended community whether you can share opportunities to connect and participate in open hackathons and seminars. So you can see that you can enroll into the virtual program, start a module, get video instruction from ANZ colleagues and you can complete the task and upload your work. So each task replicates a type of work done at the team of ANZ. So you can see the process of this particular internship. So you can also see the what are the career benefits of joining this virtual experience program. Firstly, you will build real skills and then you will also peek into the real world. So the people who are still into the work from home strategy can also see what virtual internships can provide them a detailing about the work, work life balance and the work life of that particular organization. You can also get exclusive opportunities from ANZ and you can also kickstart your career. So this will not only provide you a career kickstart into the data visualization part but also will give you on how multinational companies work on day to day basis. So you can see what you all do in this program. There are certain tasks related to exploratory data analysis where you will be analyzing data. Then you have predictive analysis where you will be using models such as regression model and decision trees to decide the accuracy of your models. Then you have exploring big data, cloud engineering core skills and data engineering. 
So this program is self-paced and it takes nine to ten hours to complete the virtual ex- uh, experience program. So just click on register now and you'll be redirected to for certain questions that you have to answer before you start this particular program. So guys, if you're liking this video, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends so that they can also benefit from this program. Also guys, do not forget to mention any particular answers or video that you would like to see on our channel. So you are enrolled into this program and you can see that you are redirected to the first task that is exploratory data analysis which is a mandatory task. This particular internship has two mandatory tasks and three bonus tasks. So if you wish to do bonus tasks that is fine, if you do not wish to do that is also fine. You will be provided with a certificate even if you complete the two mandatory tasks. So you can see this particular PDF that will be attached into the description box which will have the code that you have to use for the ta task data one. In this you can see that the data set how you have to basically read the files of CSV by using read.csv and you can see certain other analysis that we will be doing using this particular data that is provided in this output file. So you can also see that uh, this is also being used to examine the summary of the data set, change the format of data column, we'll just do analysis with the data that is provided to us. Then you need to create some histograms that are done by using our code. You can just copy your code and run it into any py, any python or any uh, IDE where you will run this code and it will display the certain results. Then you have to go, then you can see that you have a challenge that insights you have to put together 2-3 slides summarizing your most interesting findings about this management. So you can see the code that we have used and you can collate your results and submit here. So we will just click on upload our work and submit our work. Just clicking on drop your file or upload our work. I am just uploaded my PDF file that I just shown you and seeing that if it gets resulted into a successful submission. That's great. We have completed our task 1 and moving on to our task 2. That is, so you can click on continue to next task and move on to predictive analysis. That is another mandatory task. So you can see the instruction for this particular task and you can see what all you need to do for this particular task. You likely need to use statistical uh, software such as R, SAS or Python. Using the same uh, basically data set, we have to identify the annual salary for each customer. So we need to explore the correlations between annual salary and various customer attributes such as age and there are attributes that could be you know readily available in the data. So you need to just build a simple regression model to predict the annual salary for each customer using the attributes you identified above. So you also need to see the accuracy of your model and for a challenge you also need to build a decision tree based on the model to predict the salary so if it performs better is it not performing better that you need to just finalize according to the accuracy of your model so you can see the code that we have used to for basic predictive modeling of our to identify the annual salary for each customer you can follow this pdf and find your understandings and log them back to your submission so guys, if you're liking this video, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends so that they can also benefit from this video. that we have made for the regression tree for annual salary.
We have also seen the accuracy and we have uploaded our particular work for the task 2 as well. So it's being uploaded and let's see if it's a successful submission. Great, we have completed the virtual experience program and you can see that the only uh, mandatory task were task 1 and 2 and rest 3, 4, 5 were our optional tasks. But still we'll let you know the answers for the 3 tasks so that you are at good pace. So you here you need to create a Spark application using the RED and data frame through different clouds and functions. So we have to use APIs and for this challenge create a program to read each line and file and perform the same steps as this. So you can see this particular GitHub link which we have used to you know use and compile the command for this. You can follow the folder structure as given below in the GitHub commands and complete your task. We have just uploaded our task on a PDF that includes all the particular links. You can upload the same task on your GitHub and submit your links. It is being reviewed and see if it's a successful submission. Oh, that's great. We have completed the task 3 as well. Now moving on to task 4. Task 4 is Cloud Engineering Core Skills, which is an, again an optional task which again includes github links for submission so you can see that you need to create platform and application repositories on github documentation configuration and deployment steps in a readme document in each repository so you need to create a github action to deploy the infrastructure when a pr is merged into developed branches this is all you need to do while designing your program with code and you need to make sure your program is robust, man maintainable and scalable. So you can see the particular link that we have used for the submission. You can just copy this links, download the GitHub, fork the platform code and use it onto your GitHub repository and submit it over here. So once done, you can submit your code and complete the submission to see a successful mark here. Just click on click here to submit your work and upload your PDF document with all the links. When done, mark it as complete when it's completely uploaded. So it's being uploaded and we can see if it's a successful submission. Oh, that's also great. Left with the last task in the complete pipeline, we'll see the task 5. So task 5 is data engineering core skills which is again optional technical task. Moving on to this task you have to again submit a github link for this where you will be creating a repository for this task. Create a google cloud storage bucket and a data flow job that will contain in this repository. You need to create an aura scheme uh, as well. So you, while designing your program and code you again need to be sure that it is robust, maintainable and scalable. So you can see the particular link that we'll be using for this particular task and fork the repository accordingly. So you'll find all these links in our description box. Also stay tuned for any further video that you would like to see on our channels and mention that in the comment section so that we can help you for the same. You can just click here to submit your work and upload the PDF. So this is the last optional task in the series of Data at the Red ANZ Virtual Internship Program. So once this is completed, you will be getting a certificate of this particular program. You have completed your program and you can see that you have got the congratulation message with this program as well. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such amazing content.